Hi, Mark, Dead Bear here. So today I'm releasing ORAC 2 for the Organel. Um, I showed a lot of things in the uh, 2.0 video already about the features. So I thought today what I'd do is concentrate on um, what's special about ORAC on the Organel, and what's special about the Organel, really. Uh, the Organel is obviously a computer, um, but the thing is it's built as a fully self-contained instrument which is what I love. It's got the keyboard, it's got the display, all ready to go. It's portable if you use uh, a USB power supply. Grab a couple of headphones and you're ready to go. It's, it's fantastic. Um, it's great with ORAC 2 because obviously you've got the display there so you can do all the editing online. Um, obviously with ORAC 2 you can now do the remote interface if you want as well, um, which opens up possibilities of doing things like controlling for, with Max for Live, that kind of thing. Um, the only thing really that I didn't show in the other video, uh, which I'll show now, is to use the remote interface, there's two steps. Obviously you need Wi-Fi uh, running, and then the other thing you need to do is to start the MEC application and to start the OSC control profile, which I'll show. Um, the reason for that is that it means that if you're not using the remote uh, interface, there's no overhead whatsoever um, to ORAC, rather than actually have it always running there in the background. Um, so I thought what I'd do now is just explore a little bit of how to use the organelle in a different way. It's obvious to use it on its own, but how about when you actually share it and use it with other things as well? Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.